What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Smart Tech. Today's video is brought to you guys by iSkySoft. Now, of course, we're going to be taking a look at one of their products, and it is known as iMedia Converter Deluxe. Now, this thing can basically convert any file into another type of file. As you guys can see, it is a pretty simple to use software. You basically go and drag and drop. So, I'm going to go and add a file right now. So we're simply, simply going to go and jump into my downloads. I have a bunch of MP3 files, but you know what? We're going to take a look at a video file instead. This is a recent video I made for one of my other channels. So there you go. It's in here. It says the source file. The format, of course, is MP4, the size, duration, resolution, and you can actually convert that into whatever you need. There's also a high-speed conversion option should you choose to use that. And then, of course, you can actually use different audio codecs and add subti subtitles if needed as well. Now, a random thing to mention is that you can actually take DVDs and you can actually turn the DVDs into normal movie files as well. How awesome is that? Or maybe your DVD has music on it and it's typically just a CD. But in that case, you can actually go and simply convert them into MP3 files and listen to those as well. The next thing you can do is you can actually burn movies to DVDs as well. As you guys can see, there's a full-on burn option. However, let's be real, we're in 2017. Only so many people use DVDs unless, of course, they have small DVD players or, of course, they use them in the car. These days we tend to use Blu-ray or of course SD cards. So you know what? I'm simply going to go and convert this to a more feasible file format. So of course you can go and convert this into MOV, M4V, AVI, FLV, and there are a variety other of other options as well. And let's go ahead and check out all the different options when you go and hit that MP4 button. So of course there's MP4 video, there's MP3, AVI, WMV, MKV. Now here's one thing, a lot of people tend to download things, um, video files online, and then of course they see that they're MKV and they're like, whoa, what do I do with MKV? This doesn't seem to work in Windows Movie Player. So of course you can go and convert that into a normal MP4 file and you should be set to go. There's HD mp4 which is interesting mov which is quicktime's typical player uh, divx and mpeg2 now for the sake of today let's say that this had a song the video had a song in it and i was like wow this is the most amazing song ever i really really want to listen to this but i need it in an mp3 file so i can sync it into itunes and of course transfer it onto my iphone well that's what we're going to attempt to do i'm simply going to convert it into an mp3 file in this case but before we do that i was like wait a minute this video has an intro and the intro simply doesn't seem to be something I'd want to listen to over and over since it's a song I want to listen to and not necessarily someone's voice. So you know what? Get this. It actually has a video editing option built into it as well. And this actually allows you to go and trim certain aspects of this. So you can actually add a trim marker and then I should be able to drag this to maybe right here. And I'm like, whoa, this part has a song in it. I'm going to listen to this part over and over. Now you can hit OK and you should be set to go. There are other options. You can actually go and turn the video as well in case you want to watch this particular video upside down you can go and crop it as well so maybe i only want to see this particular version however i am changing it to, into mp3 so these options aren't too too relevant but if you were converting it into say mkv they would be very very relevant you can also add filters so you know what this has a full-on video editing little option built into it whoa this looks pretty awesome i'm actually going to go and keep that um there's a you can actually go and mess with the settings, the brightness, the contrast, the saturation. Whoa, we got like a mini Photoshop in here. And then, of course, there is the image type and, of course, a text type, transparency options, and you can even go and add text. How awesome is that? So, as you guys can see, I'm actually going to go and hit OK. Most of those options weren't too, too relevant to MP3, but once again, it does go to show how much this thing is capable of. Now, finally, you can merge all videos into one single file in case you dragged and dropped multiple files into here. So those files could be different types of files as well, which is really interesting because that could save a lot of video editors a lot of time. So I'm going to go and finally hit convert, and this thing should do it in a relatively uh, nice amount of time since, you know, it is only converting it into MP3. Um, now we're going to go and try to find that file. It says it right here, open folder. And just like that, guys, I officially have an MP3 version of my file. Now, next off, I'm actually going to show you guys an even cooler option that's built directly into this, which could also help save a lot of video editors a lot of time. And this is known as... Uh, basically, it's a download tool for mostly YouTube, but you can also go and download videos directly from a variety of other sites as well. So first of all, some of the sites included are Hulu, Facebook, Vevo, Vimeo, and for now, we're simply going to use the classic YouTube because, you know, this video is being posted on YouTube and we got to plug the channel real quick. So I'm going to go and scroll down to my latest video. Simply take that link right now. And next off, I'm actually going to go and add a URL. So it's going to ask for the URL. I'm going to hit Control V. 
and we want to convert it to you know what we'll save it right to my desktop and hit OK and just like that it is gonna find my video which is online and then it's gonna attempt to download it directly within the application as you guys can see there you go it found it it downloads it well if you have a relatively fast internet connection it should download it relatively fast and then just like that you should be able to take that and put it into the convert option and maybe even burn it to a DVD directly after that you can also hit YouTube to mp3 so you can actually convert it directly into an mp3 file directly from here as well so once again as you guys can see, random link, I could hit OK, and it will, actually, it will actually take the video as well and convert it into an MP3. However, I don't need to do that, so we're simply going to leave it at that. Now, at this point, you guys are thinking, wow, they really thought of everything. No, they, you don't know yet, because just wait, get this, guys. It also has a screen recorder built into it as well. You simply go and hit the record video option. It is kind of a tiny, tiny little option, but as you guys can see, I can actually record a certain amount of my screen. So this is like screenception going on right here, because I'm actually recording a screen within a screen. I'm going to hit the record button, and just like that, in three, two, one it should start recording how awesome is that and there is my brand new file ready to go and convert into anything and then once again i can move that into a dvd as well finally i can go and play certain things so if you want to use this as a full-on player you are pretty much good to go now this is a piece of software that i might actually use on a daily basis it's very useful because you know i work with youtube and there are a variety of web clips all over the web that i need to download on a constant basis sometimes i need to trim them then sometimes i need to convert them into mp4 maybe mov files and slip them into Adobe Premiere to have a video whipped out within an hour so this piece of software is pretty amazing when it comes to content creators so if you're a content creator go ahead and check this out it's definitely something you want to look at however if you're just looking for something convert one little file um, they do have a trial version so you don't have to go and fully purchase it as well this is the full version we did go and take a look at this is like the ultimate piece of software for youtubers it even has a screen recorder built in and I'm actually gonna be fully testing that and maybe even replacing my own screen recorder if it ends up being better so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe go ahead and check out the link below with that said thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off